here we are stuck in our house for weeks on end um, some of you may have time to take a bath or do some self care I don't but uh, I thought I would show you how to make bath bombs in case you do um, this is all stuff you have in your house mostly I didn't have to buy anything extra except the citric acid wasn't something I normally have but Amazon has it and I bought it once and it's been lasting me a really long time so uh, for this uh, all you need is baking soda citric acid Epsom salt cornstarch um, coconut oil which a lot of people have now I don't know you can order it online too um, and water which everybody has so oh and the molds you can use these kind of molds to make your bath bombs or you can make them in, in those little silicone shapes just those little shapes that people have doesn't matter when they dry they harden so it doesn't matter what shape you make them in um, I'm gonna try these again but last time I ended up having to form them by hand because they didn't work so well so it doesn't really matter um, well let's get started oh, wait. these are the ones we made last time so you can see even if your molds don't work you can form them by hand and that works just fine um, we got the color by using some of this mica powder which I'm not going to use this time because I didn't like this brand that much. It, um, my son used a lot, a lot of blue, and it comes off in the bathtub, you know, leaves a residue on the bathtub, which the bath bombs by themselves do not do so much. So I'd rather I'm make this batch without color, but you can sprinkle a little bit of color, whatever you want. Some people like to do that. That's really fun. They have liquid mica, I mean liquid color, and also this powder mica. It's like for soap making. I'm not that good at that part. So we're just going to get to cook it. First thing we're going to put in is one cup of baking soda. I have my cup. I have my baking soda. There we go. One cup of baking soda. You want to do your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients separately because they react to each other and you don't want that to happen until the very, very end. So we're going to do the baking soda. Then we're going to do the citric acid, which is only half a cup. Half a cup of citric acid. cup of Epsom salt. This doesn't matter what kind you buy. Um, I have Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. Just something you like. Some people have, have a preference. I do half a cup of that. Um, and then half a cup of cornstarch, which is just the regular cooking cornstarch. There's nothing fancy about that. So you make these very, very fancy bath bombs with everyday stuff from your house. I might need to sweep this in with something else. My cup is too big for my box. Cornstarch. That helps hold them together. Now you're going to use a whisk. I think I have mine. Yep. To whisk all these ingredients together, combines them really nice. Right now everything's white. <laughs> the baby to it <laughs> I'll be back okay we're back and we have my friends say hello guys hello okay so we did the dry ingredients already that is finished and we're gonna do the wet ingredients next in the little bowl uh, so we have to melt 
the coconut oil. This is, <laughs> what, what did I say this was? Two and a, two and a quarter, two, two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. So we're going to melt this. Melt it? Yep, yeah, we're going to melt it. I don't know how long it takes to melt it. Let's try like 15 seconds. Um, let's see what that is. And then we have the water. Do you want to put the water in the bowl? Oh. All right. This is just three quarter tablespoons of water, which if you don't have three quarter tablespoons, which I didn't, it's two and a half. In here? Teaspoon. No, Pour two and a quarter teaspoons. Pour it in here? Yeah, in here. Two and a quarter teaspoons. I asked people. Okay. All right. Is this melted? Almost. Hello? Hold on, I'm gonna melt it a little more and then you're gonna pour it in. Okay. Okay. What is this? Let's do it like another 10 seconds. You already mixed it? That's what we're gonna mix with that. Oh. Hello. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. Making bad buns, making bad buns. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. That's melted. I'll pour it. All right, pour that in. Very good. It's turning yellow. Well, sort of, not really. Coconut, everything, yeah, kind of whitish. It smells good. It does smell good. So, it just, I don't know if you can see that. It's just a little wet. Okay. Mix the water and the coconut oil together. I'll do that. You can do that just very gently. Don't let it slosh around too much. Okay. Oh, it's getting that. The smell's yeah. not getting so good. Do you want to try and put a little bit of color in again this time? Sure. Let's see what happens. All right, let's get brave. Last time we put too much color. Let's see, this time we can put just a little. What color should we make? I'm going to do two, a tiny bit of two colors. A uh, tiny bit of two colors. Not pick. gold. Not gold. Okay, you pick. Hmm. It's going to look probably like one color, though. It's not going to swirl or anything. I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. Add it. We this, did, we I did, did that last time. Yeah, when it was too good. This one. We can do that one. And That's gold. This one's pretty. That one. Okay. Let's see what that does. I'll do the gold okay. first. It's going to go in the powder. The powder. The powder. Okay, now remember, it comes out really, really fast, and we only want uh, I like a, a little sprinkle this time. I'll do. See, just, you know can, what? Can I? But I, last I, time you did like way too much, so just a little tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, that's good for now. Now the, do the same thing with that one. Good job. Tap, 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 oh my color. God. We sprinkled some blue and some gold. It's probably going to be too much to do, and on my bathtub again, but Can you I? know what? it comes off comes off really easy when you wash the tub, so it's not a big deal. All right, you whisk that up. Get the color all mixed in. We have to get this white. I see the gold. Yeah, the gold we probably won't notice too much. There might be some flecks, but it'll be pretty. That's good. Okay. It's soon as still be mostly white, so maybe that won't dye my tubby too much. This? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's only a little bit of white. And yeah. mm -hmm. It's okay. only a little bit of white now. All right, now... I'm going to switch from the whisk to the mixer. You are going to mix. I'm going to pour this in really slow. Now, we have the citric acid in the dry already, and as we add the liquid, sometimes it fizzles. So we want to do really slow and mix it right away because we don't want it to fizz all up. Then we, the bath bomb won't fizz later. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. We don't want it to fizz. We don't want it to fizz. That's really pretty, actually, that color. <laughs> this color? Mm-hmm. It's is it fizzing? It's fizz, fizz. No, it's not fizzing. It's doing good. Oh, Gabriel. That's ah. alright. It's just coconut oil. <laughs> is this turning blue? Yeah, it's turning like a really pretty color, actually. <gasps> not That's fizzing. fizzing. That's fizzing. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. Smush, smush. Okay, I stopped it. I stopped. That was quick. You know what? Because the coconut oil part doesn't fizz, but the water does. Next time I might just use coconut oil and the water. Mix, oh, mix, 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 mix. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. Okay. 
Hello, more. It's fizzing. Okay, we're gonna mix that a whole lot. Should be okay. It fizzed a little last time too, and it's still works. Are the bath bombs done? And we're gonna mix this all together until it's like wet sand. And then are we gonna pump it up into balls? Then we're gonna try and put it in those molds again, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And turn them into balls. And turn them into balls. The last time I opened it and I ripped. Yeah, last time the bolt the here you can move it a little bit so we can see. Last time the the um the molds didn't work so well, but we still got balls in the end. See you guys? <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's looking pretty good. Pay attention to what you're doing. Looking good. Almost done, I think. <coughs> oh, okay. Okay. okay, let me check it out. Okay, that's good. That should pack in there. Are we going to pop them into balls with our hands? We're going to pop them into balls. We're going to put them into the molds first, and hopefully that works. If it doesn't work that way, then we'll push them into balls like we did last time. With our hands? With our hands. I want to do it with my hands because it... Well, first we're going to do the molds because... It's a, I don't know if it will just go straight into here because we needed something to hold it together for a few minutes. Otherwise, it's just powdery, you know? Yeah. All right, so let me get a scooper. Back up a sec, that's me. Back up a second, let me open this drawer. I have a scooper though, but I used it. I need another one. I'll use this one. Dish one scrub. Okay. Look how smooth it is. That's nice. Okay. Alrighty. Let's put this in here. Is this wet here? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm supposed to pack it down a little bit, but maybe we packed it too much last time. Who knows? Can I scrape it off with this? Yeah, scrape it into the bowl. It actually came out as a really pretty color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They? They. We're supposed to make it like a little bit overflowing, and then we do the other side, and then squish them together really hard. So let's see. Guys, can you see it? <laughs> Looks like they can. Okay. Let's see if it'll work. And then we're supposed to put the two sides together, and I don't often have very much luck with it, but we'll give it a try. Okay, we have to leave this to dry for a minute, so I will pause the video and come back and show you guys for me to try and open them. See you in a Okay, we're back. Now, uh, the first time I opened it, it was too dry and it was didn't work, so I, I added a little bit more coconut melted coconut oil, and I remembered that I forgot to put in my essential oil, which is what I choose for my therapeutic smell. Okay. Um, a lot of people like to use lavender or um, wild orange, but I like to use this balance mix, which is uh, a very fresh, fresh showery sort of smell. Um, and now we have had success. So he's very excited to open it. Come in front of the camera. <laughs> and he's going to open it because it worked. It was moist enough. There you go. Just just tilt it into your hand. Boop. And you have a bath bomb. Now it's still wet and it will get it will fall apart. So you have to just place it in a bowl or on a plate and uh, let it dry for 24 hours. Please let it dry for 24 hours before you use it. Um, Can we make we're, more? Yeah, we're gonna make more. So now we're gonna uh, Okay, now I'm gonna fill the rest of these up and um, show you guys when they're done I guess in um and I'll post another video when we when they're red dry and ready and we can test them out okay bye Hello, everybody so that made four large bath bombs they are 
We will wait until tomorrow for them to fully cure and then we will try them out. But they smell great. Um, last time, the last batch we had, uh, same ingredients. Um, when my son, when we use them, our skin is so, so, so soft. So the coconut oil is the key ingredient there. Um, if you have essential oils, you can choose your favorite. If you don't, you can still make these without it. Um, just don't use any synthetic fragrances in it. So you're going to be sitting it in, in the bath. That could um, be harmful to your skin or make you feel itchy or uncomfortable. So, happy quarantine. Happy bath day. Bye. These guys wanted to say goodbye. Bye. Bye.